Good to have you with us. Thanks for coming in this morning. Jeanette, if I can start with you first of all, what is acne? I mean, we all see it, but what causes it? Uh, well, it's an inflammatory condition that's obviously very, very prevalent. And uh, there's, there's many factors which I suppose um, uh, bring about the actual condition. Um, but as, as of yet, there's actually no cure for it. So this would be a treatment as such. But it's a very, very a common inflammatory skin condition. Prior then to this laser's arrival, what, what was the normal treatment policy for people who had, say, maybe severe acne? Well, if you're talking about severe acne, really you're talking about uh, either topical or oral antibiotics. Uh, things like um, erythromycin or tetracycline. So it was either topical or, or oral. Okay. Mikey, you're one of the inventors of this. Not to get too technical, how did you design it? What does it do? Well, the, the laser was originally designed to treat wrinkles. Um, as you get older, your skin starts to lose its elasticity and you, you start to form the crow's feet around the eyes. So we, we designed the laser originally to stimulate the collagen production, which is the basis of the skin. During treatments for both wrinkles and acne scar and the, the pitted scars you get after acne, people noticed that the acne was disappearing as well. So it, it came about as an anecdotal report, really. And then we, we, we done a large clinical study in London with a very eminent dermatologist. And we've proved over the last 18 months that it's very effective in treating acne. And what is the medical profession saying now about this machine? Obviously, the, the Dr. Tony Chu, we've worked with at Hammersmith, is probably one of the world's leading experts in acne, and he's, he's adamant this is the biggest breakthrough in acne in the last 30 years. Oh. It has no side effects. Okay. Do you know, a lot of people say that, that acne is caused mainly through diet. Is, is that a myth? Absolutely a myth. I mean, I was, had, I have always suffered with acne myself, so that was where I suppose my particular interest came from. Uh, with this treatment and even say leading up to Christmas uh, I, my skin was really quite bad you know and uh, obviously I'd been following this primarily from a, um, a skin rejuvenation point of view because I was looking at it from a, a wrinkle an anti-wrinkle system with their uh, rejuvenating the skin without opting for a surgical or yeah. any invasive treatments and then um, as I was getting more and more information I, I uh, realized that there's a lot of research going on as regards to acne and being an acne sufferer myself of course I was delighted Breakthrough. so I went across to uh, a clinic in London where they were carrying out some trials before Christmas in November actually mm -hmm. and basically by Christmas I had clear skin excellent d d does uh, or is it necessary for sort of acne sufferers to be aware of the fact that they can't wear makeup they can't they have to be careful about aftershaves um, suntan lotions uh, do all these things affect the skin and maybe inflame the, the, the aggravation yes they do I mean they do have um, they do have effects on the skin or on the condition but I mean primarily it is a systemic condition it is something that you know a problem within the body where basically uh, the skin is reacting to normal levels of testosterone and basically you're producing too much oil uh, the, the, the hair actual follicles where the oil is coming out through become blocked and pl plugged and then um, you have an invasion of bacteria and spots in other words develop so it's a combination of factors and whilst there are a variety of things to treat the indi individual factors really the only thing that has been successful in treating a severe acne ha have been oral antibiotics oral and topical antibiotics but of course the problem with these things are number one you're taking an oral or using a topical drug which yeah. a lot of people really they don't, don't want, want to do, do. Yeah. and secondly there's the cost factor as well so you know and of course the side effects with taking uh, oral antibiotics or, or drugs like um, uh, Accutane so uh, with this there are simply no side effects okay. and your skin gradually gets better so from my point of view as both a person using it and as a patient it was overwhelming the results it was no, really fantastic. I've no doubt we're going to get a lot, of, a lot of inquiries about this so how many treatments should people uh, take as a matter of a course and how much is this treatment going to cost do we know yet? Uh, well, you're talking about in the region of about 300 to 350 euros. And uh, when you compare that with uh, uh, drugs, for instance, you're talking about a monthly prescription of um, something like isotretinoin costing you uh, a minimum of 230, 250 okay. euro. So 350 is one visit, is that the initial visit? Yes. Oh, okay. That's the treatment. Uh, basically then you would follow that up um, for, from an acne point of view now, we're talking about as opposed to wrinkles. Is yeah, it from an yeah, acne point of view? Point of view yeah. At, at about two to three months, you would require a second treatment, okay. depending on the impact of the first. Um, from our studies, many of the patients had no acne uh, at three months, so there was no need for a second okay. treatment. So it's not only clearing it, you're claiming that it cures it as well? It, 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 it seems to inhibit the recurrence of the, of the disease as well, yes. 
Okay. That's, that's the I mean, you know, when you're talking about cures, everybody is different. You cannot actually go out there and say, okay. this cures yeah. acne. We, we don't know that. Okay. But by comparison to anything else that's available, uh, it is certainly a fantastic option and it offers fantastic results. So in trials then, what, what have the success rates been? What, what are you, what in are you trials, trying to um, I think 27 out of the 35 people we treated had 50 to 60 percent reduction in spots okay. at three months. And what sort of person then didn't uh, use, utilize the treatment or, or did the treatment didn't work on? What, what was the problem? On the very, very severe acne. You have to remember this was only one treatment. Okay. Uh, we haven't followed up with multiple treatments yet, but it was only single treatment. And 80 percent of the, all the subjects reacted within the first two weeks. Okay, so for 350 euro for the visit, that should clear a lot of it for most people. Mm -hmm. And then go back three months later for maybe a second visit. Yeah. And after that, a percentage of people won't have to go back, but some will yes, down the line. Yes, but it's, it's the same with the drug. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. We, okay. Just because you go on a course of antibiotics, oh, you right. get a temporary relief. Yeah. You know, you, okay. down the road you I mean, no side work. effects in the laser, no? No, Absolutely none. none. It's, okay. it's amazing. All right, it's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough. Yeah. We're going to try it now. Mm -hmm. Mike Kern, thank you very much. And Jeanette Haynes, thank you. We put the website up in a minute because I'm sure, as I said, we're going to have a lot of inquiries about this. Um, now, you've heard what the treatment does uh, from our guests. Join us after the break when we meet an acne sufferer who's going to try out the treatment and come back to us in a few weeks to show us how she got on. That's all coming up. Stay with us. It's uh, back outside just to see how this laser cure works. Thank you very much, Mark. Yes, indeed, we're talking again about the N-Light laser treatment, and we're back with Jeanette, who you met a little bit earlier on, and we're also joined by Carmel this morning. Carmel Anderson, who um, is going to have the treatment done. Are you looking forward to, to yes, seeing how, how... Have you seen the results in anyone else? I have just read about the results from the English papers. Right. You know, and, and seen the photographs. But I haven't actually... I don't actually know...